communities of Grovend and Eastbury in Phoenix descended onto the Phoenix Highway in their numbers this week, demanding an end to what they call an injustice in service delivery. They believe the frequent water and electricity cuts are costing them much more than just discomfort and inconvenience. The spokesperson for the residents in Eastbury, Mohammed Said, explained to the North Coast Rising Sun why the protest action was justified. The reason that we are here as a community, guys, is because of what is currently happening when it comes to the uh, electricity. As of from, on Friday, from quarter past four, right upon yet this morning at 1 a.m., we were in a position where our electricity was totally on the shutdown. We came to a point where majority of the people their foods, in their fridges, in their uh, freezers, everything had come to a point where it went into ruin. Another resident, Pranisha Luckin, said that food many people hoped to live off during January had to be thrown away. There was no assistance received from the municipality or councillors. To date, we haven't had any political party come in to our residents and try and assist some of our residents. Uh, with regards to food, uh, we, there was a circular sent out stating that uh, they need receipts. And when you look at people that purchase groceries, how many of us actually keep receipts? And we have some very poor families here in uh, Teshmira Gardens. And believe you me, some of them live from hand to mouth. And now, we all we needed was just assistance from the uh, political parties to come forward, find out in which way they could reach out to these families that are actually encountering all these challenges. Single parent Roseanne Pillay said that life is already stressful enough to have constant issues with necessities such as water and electricity. There's some of us that are single parents here, some of us are the only sole providers for our family. And in that being said, not only Christmas did we have nothing, but also in been that three or four days that we didn't have electricity, as well as water, and you're not even sending a tanker out for us. We have to basically go looking out for water, looking out for food, for our families. Even there's some people over here who's older than us, they collect grant. How do they live on that grant, knowing that they have to throw away their food just so the smell in their house is not unbearable anymore. The mayor of Eteguini municipality, Councillor Nkolo Sikaunda, is scheduled to address residents on Friday evening in Grove End. This news broadcast was brought to you by the North Coast Rising Sun digital team.